So just to test out the code execution here, all I have to do is to go to aistudio.google.com. It's for free. Select the model that you want. In my case, I'm using the Gemini 1.5 Pro, which is the best current, honestly, model they have right now. And in the advanced settings tab, select code execution, or basically toggle it on. Here I ask it to create a sneak game using by game with Python. Here it will run how many seconds it needed to basically to create this code and it just print out the entire code, all of it, then it explain it. It will tell you what to do, how to initialize it, what the function, what the game loop, how it work, and how to start the game. We're gonna copy this code and put it in a file that I have here. That's already. So I'm gonna run the entire uh, the code and see how it will work okay it's working as it intended i'm trying to play out the game a little bit but can't get the food here the snake is getting bigger let's try to kill it by ourselves yeah here it's if you are lost press c to play again or q to quit which perfect for a simple bison game and this basically how powerful code execution are let me introduce you to the newest addition to Gemini ABI, Code Execution. Code Execution is a feature that enables us to basically generate Python code and it learn from the results until it arrives to a final output. Basically, it's slow on itself until it reach the result that you want. You can use it actually to build the application using Python and it's actually come also with integrated libraries which is very cool like numpy here and simpy and surprisingly skit learn libraries that basically have ton of algorithm that here is a comparison between the code execution and the function call the execution environment and language support setup complexity and api call and flexibility and decision making as you can see here the code execution is fixed it's in its own environment an ABI backend. The function calling is basically the developer own environment. The language support is currently limited only to Bison and Bison only, which is kind of bummer, honestly, but it's new. Function calling you support any language or any framework that you want. The complexity, of course, code execution is very easy and straightforward. Function calling requires more setup and environment configuration, but it is more basically powerful. ABI calls, single ABI request for complex tasks, basically you send it the prompt only once, but for function calling you multiple requests might be needed. The flexibility here is limited to the installed libraries. Code executioner have its own library as I told you, NIMBY and SkitLearn and SimPy. Here in function calling, it's highly flexible. You can basically addition to add it to any external tools or ABI. Decision making, the model itself decide when to use the code or what kind of code it should be used. But in function calling, the developer, which is the one who is providing the list of the available functions. Let's see it in action. There's actually a notebook provided by Google itself over here. If you went to the link, I'm going to leave it in the description. You can click here and go to the notebook over here. It do its setup, putting the ABI key and all the stuff and modifying the style a little bit because it, we're gonna show you the code of the code execution output in Bison. Here it set up what kind of generative model it use. It's using the Gemini 1.5 flash and providing the tool is the code execution because you want to use it. And here it tell it what is the sum of the sum of the first 200 prime numbers. Make sure you will get all the 200. The model return a list of party parts, including text and executable code, the execution result part. So here, here it get the, all the parts and put it in one list type. And as you can see here, it will gonna be text, the executable code, and the code execution result, and the text of this kind of code. Here it loop over the results and it give you executable code as a result, and the text and the code execution result, and it give you the output 76127 and the, the final result of the case it gives you the answer which 76127 here it tell you i use the same by 
sim, simi by library to generate the list of the prime number up to 1000 then i took the first 200 prime from the list and summed them together so i tell you what it did basically and give you some sort of code import same by and prime's number and sum it up but we want to show this actually as as is shown here bring the result thickest it import the library give it get it the primes sum the number and get the result as a normal bison code it should and here it display it in a clean way so it's not only show you the code that it resulted from this kind of equation but it also it tell you what it did exactly which make it an excellent tool for the lit code interview questions that we get i'm thinking we should try it out to use a lit code question a simple question to give it to the code execution and see how it will work so here in lit code this is the top interview 150 questions basically i'm selecting remove duplicates from the sorted array too i'm gonna copy everything here and go to here i'm going to go to the google ai studio and paste everything here and select the code executioner and hit run and see results all right italy i understand you need function to remove duplicates so here it's which is kind of cool it got an error apologize for the error in my previous response a function definition should not be within a tool code block so it's let's try again i don't know why it stopped maybe there is something wrong with it but let's try to copy it once more so even it gave me a trace back most recent call lost file string bison is invalid syntax i took the actually the code that it gave me right and put it in the lit code over here and when i hit run actually it gave me like it's accepted the results so this is a perfect tool for basically solving algorithms that you want to learn and if you're stuck on an algorithm you can use code execution to get it work and know what it mean i mean like we so i ask it can you explain the code that I just wrote is to learn to fix the algorithm over here? And here it tell me first thing it's initialize. Don't know when you click it. Initialization, which is the first step, then iteration through the array. And it tell you what the code that do iteration and what code is initialization. Then three, checking for validation in elements and what the code for it, placing the valid elements to and finally returning the links so it, it tell you each step which have five steps and which step what the code for it do basically back to the notebook we have here it try to do another example using the generative model a gemini 1.5 flash and here it ask it to write the code to count how many letter r uh, letter r in the word strawberry and the tools is the code execution markdown and it take the response text and it give you it basically the entire code for it directly there is no the ability of generate content with is this example is a little bit better but it, if you want to understand what i do you have to ask it here it's ask it model start chat chat send message can you say, run some code to Google sort this list of numbers it's another algorithm actually here as we did with let code and here it import random do the bogu sort is sorted then list to sort and basically print the sorted list and it's explaining here this is basically is a perfect one for studying lit code if you want to sit down and study lit code with ai right now you can do that and here response it's actually modifying the code to count the number of iteration how many iteration does it take and do that once more and the number of iteration is 184 and explain the code again there is also there is the multimedia option that you can take an image and give it to the code execution here it's still to run a simulation of the multi hole problem with 1000 trill. Here, how this work as a reminder. 
in the Monty Hall problem you are on a game show with three doors. Behind one is a car and behind the other are goats. You pick a door, the, the host who know what is behind the door, open different door to reveal a goat. Should you switch to the remaining an open door? The answer has always been a little difficult for me to understand when people solve with math. So please run simulation with Python to show me what is the best strategy is. Thank you. I love how we tell it thank you in the end in a prompt. But here it give it generate content, give it the image and the prompt and the markdown it go in and create a code run simulation and the percentage of the win is thing is 33 percent and the percentage of switching is 66 percent and finally the streaming the streaming also is compatible with the code execution just another option that it give you that you can stream the code itself i'm not sure if it's good for us to use but i feel like it's addition that you might need to show you to show someone in the front end if you want to and that's it basically the entire notebook you can find all the stuff actually over here i'm gonna leave this link for it it's a very good tool but the only bummer about it right now it's using only bison i hope that in the future we can get more other language supported like javascript c sharp c plus plus all this kind of language it's a very good start honestly and i can see it being worked on to be alternative to to microsoft copilot from github i think it's in the future it might be finally the pricing free of charge basically the free version of it is 15 15 rbm request per minute and pay as you go every uh, minute you can send one thousand rbm basically it's just a four startup and it's very good and the price input for each 1 million input, you pay 35 cent and for output about 71, uh, uh, 70 cent for each 1 million. Here the price is free for charge as you can see it here 1.5 basically 1 dollar and 5 cent for each 1 million tokens input and output. This is for the prompt up to 128k tokens. And for more than that, it's two dollar and ten cent. Basically, it's the double. Prompt response used to improve our products. Yes, so is you are collecting the data by force if you're using the free, and if you are paying, no, which I kind of doubt it a little bit. But yeah, you can go with a free, limited um, version of it, which is nice. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Sam Dean, or somebody can call me Sam, and see you in the next one.